there is one huge misconception about learning. It's learning wide versus learning deep. What most people do, which is again, massive mistake, is to just go wide all the time. Like they just read as many books by as many different people as they possibly can. And then, you know, they vary the authors and then they also learn from as many fields as they can. But that's not the way successful people do it. I'm not against uh, diversifying. I'm not against learning many, many things. But you only need to be really good at one thing to be successful. And then if you can be really, really good at two things and combine them, then you can really take it to a whole nother level. For example, you can be really good at investing, but if you're really good at investing and really good at marketing and you combine these skills, you can actually create something brand new. It's actually the people that combine skills, like if you take uh, um, Leonardo da Vinci, who had such an incredible uh, range of expertise, it all happened because he combined art with science. So basically he took science and he combined it with biology. Uh, art with biology. He combined art with anatomy. Art with engineering. So he was an amazing artist, but he was also an amazing scientist in all areas of science. You can take some people like Ty Lopez, who are really, really good at, for example, social media, uh, teaching people, educating people, but also he's an expert at marketing. So you combine them both. That's why he's so big. When you learn wide, you get okay knowledge of everything. You get the, the guy that knows a bit about everything, but he's not really good, like really good at anything. And you want to just pick one thing one subject that you're going to master, you're going to get really, really, really fucking good at and learn deep. Either get one mentor and learn everything you can from him, just exhaust all his knowledge. Or if it's a field, then learn everything you can about that field. But again, go deep, not wide. Then once you finish learning this one field or once another field kind of opens up to you, then you can start going, in, going deep on that because everything new that you learn, by definition, it's an unknown. So you still don't understand the words, the definitions. You still don't have a lot of experience. You don't have a lot of, a lot of depth of knowledge. Even if it's something you have some experience with, you're not going to be able to go deep on it just from that because it takes a long time to develop these logical neural neuro pathways and to actually grow your knowledge and the roots and understand the nuances of everything. So this requires dedication and focus on one thing, one uh, mentor, one subject, one area, but you need to go deep on it until you have enough depth that you can actually kind of diverse yourself into another subject that's uh, either symbiotic, like for example, marketing can be pretty much symbiotic with everything because marketing just means being good at marketing just means you, you are really good at, at getting attention from a lot of people. But you can also take things that are not necessarily symbiotic. Like, for example, uh, take uh, mathematics and, and, uh, and, and marketing, for example. So if you learn mathematics and marketing, you can actually become like a super technical marketer. Or if you learn something like stock trading, and self-development, maybe you can teach self-development through stock trading, as, as odd as it sounds. <laughs> so as you can see, by combining two expert points of expertise, you actually create a brand new third thing that probably didn't exist before that. And that's where the really creative people come from, the really creative uh, uh, arts, the really creative sciences, the really creative brands. It's when you combine two things that never had uh, been combined in the past, at least not that way. So I hope this video helps and just remember, 
always learn in depth, never learn by weight. Weight is just to introduce you to many subjects, but then you have to pick one and just focus on it. Whichever one feels the best, that's the one for you. See you soon.